Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. This has been highly requested from the um, nails that I posted a few weeks ago that were based on a opal that I saw on an Instagram page called Just A Ring Thing. Um, I found this page through a friend slash client um, and I've absolutely fallen in love with her work. She works with, Charlotte works with all different types of opals and I saw a particular opal that she then turned into a ring and I was just so inspired by the colours running through it and the gold and everything. So I decided to create some nails inspired by it and that is what I'm going to show you how to do today. So we've got some, a real kind of purpley, blue turquoisey look with loads of gold running through it. I absolutely loved doing these nails so I really hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's get straight into it. So the first thing I've done is done one coat of Bobby Dazzler and I've cured that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So now I'm going to go back in with a second coat but I'm not going to cure this. like that and then whilst this is still wet I'm going to get blue sky so wiping off a lot of the product from the brush I'm just going to go from this top corner up here and just very lightly just wiggle the blue through and turning the brush over wiping off any product from my brush before putting back into the bottle and I'm just going to get some more product and just start doing the same thing again wiggling the product through just applying a little bit of product each time not sort of overloading um, the brush like that and obviously wiping off my brush before I'm putting it back into my bottle. Then again whilst this is still wet I'm going to grab breakfast at Tiffany's which is a really nice turquoise colour and in the opal um, photo that I used for the reference there was this real kind of turquoise colour just sort of shining through so that's why I, uh, I did this. So again, just grabbing a bit of product and all I want to do is just do it from this top corner up here and just dragging it through just the once, just to get that turquoise colour through and obviously wiping off any uh, purple or blue off of my brush before um, putting back into the bottle. And then just before we go ahead to cure this, I'm going to get Shrinking Violet. And with this one, I just want to go around the outer edges almost. Just to add a little bit of kind of like dark purple. So I don't want to add a lot, but again, we're kind of doing that wiggle motion just to kind of blend some of that in. Might just get my Bobby Dazzler back and wipe off a lot of product. So I've not got a lot of product at all on my brush. And I just wanna introduce that pink color again, just to that top section like that. So now I'm gonna fully cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds. So next I'm going to grab the Magpie Rosanna Flakes. These are part of the Too Faced Flakes collection and I'll also be using the Magpie Gold Leaf. So now that this has been fully cured, I basically want to add the flakes to the tacky layer. So I'm just going to do two things with these. I'm going to grab my Magpie Detailer Brush. I'm going to dip it into the pot and take some of the flakes out 
and uh, into the lid and I just want to break some of these flakes up a bit so that they're not so chunky. So, and I just want to apply some of those to just over this middle section here, um, over that blue and green that we did. But then I want to go straight into the pot as well to get some of the bigger flakes. And then I want to put those over um, that middle section. Doesn't matter if it goes a little bit onto the purple, that's absolutely fine. But I just want a mixture of both where I've got some bigger flakes and some smaller particles there. So I'm going to grab my Magpie silicone tool and I just want to use this to press down these flakes into the tacky layer. Then I want to get my tweezers and my gold leaf and I want to start pulling some of this gold leaf off and placing it around the outer edge here I want to use quite a bit of this as well um, like I said, the, the photo that I used as my reference for my opal, it had a lot of kind of, I think it's rock really that's in it, but it looks like sort of gold pieces throughout. So we want to add quite a lot for this look. For some looks, you only want a little bit, but for this one, I want quite a bit. So it's just attaching itself to the tacky layer really nicely and obviously I'm just using my tweezers to like break it up onto the nail. So I'm going to do a little bit more up here. Like that. And again I'm just going to grab my silicone tool and I just want to pat that gold leaf down then I'm gonna grab fresh as a daisy which is a really nice kind of cloudy white and I really want to wipe off quite a bit of the product from this and I'm just going to put this all over the nail but I'm really trying to spread this out over the nail this will basically kind of like dull everything down but give it that really cool look that we want so and obviously wiping off your brush before it goes into back into the bottle in case it's got any flakes or anything on it then I'm going to grab my Give Me Strength and I just want to apply a little amount just kind of in the middle here just so that we can kind of shear it, shear the, uh, the Fresh as a Daisy out just slightly so that we can start to see some of those flakes really shining through because we don't want to cover up all of it essentially. So then I'm going to fully cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds. But you can see how Fresh as a Daisy has basically mattified that gold leaf, which is the look that we want for the minute. So let's fully cure this. So now that this has been fully cured, I just want to grab my Rosanna flakes again, just to add a tiny, tiny little bit on the top here just a small small amount just to add sort of a top layer of sparkle to those flakes and obviously I want to use my silicone tool just to press them down into that tacky layer 
and then I want to get my gold leaf again and I just want to basically add some more gold flake to the outer edge here but you can really see the difference of the one that we put fresh as a daisy on top of it's created like this matte effect and then now we're adding more gold on top for a shiny effect so you really get a two dimen um you really get a lovely effect um and a lot of depth to these nails so just going to pop this on and break it up the gold leaf is really nice and um light so it's it's really easy to work with i think it's probably one of my favorite things to work with at the moment and i'm just using my tweezers to um break it up and move it around a bit and on this second lot of gold leaf obviously you can add as much or as little as you want to for this look i would definitely say try and keep it to the outer edges but you can sort of go into uh, the middle a little bit if you want to and then obviously I'm just going to get my silicone tool just to pat all of that down nicely I'm just going to grab my give me strength to secure my layer of flakes and my gold leaf I always look down the side of the nail as well just to make sure that there's no flakes or anything sticking up and everything is nice and smooth so and I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds in my lamp so just to finish this off I'm going to top coat it with don't be tacky this is magpie's no wipe top coat and it's really super shiny and lovely and it makes it super easy that you don't have to wipe off any inhibition layer So, and I'm going to cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds. So then here you have your gorgeous purple and gold opal nail. So the thing that I love about opals at the moment is just there's so many different kinds and colours and types and things like that. Um, so you can try all different combinations and there's loads of different methods and everything. Um, it's just really super fun to do um, when you've got kind of a stone as a reference picture and things like that. Um, and as soon as I saw the stone on Just A Ring Things Instagram page, I fell in love with it. It was beautiful. And I loved the ring that she then um, created with it. I will obviously leave her link in the description box as well so you can go and check out her work. I actually have... Um, a Brazilian opal ring made by her that I got for my birthday um, and it's beautiful I love it so I hope that you like this tutorial guys please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all again soon bye